I didn't even fucking do anything. All right, that's fair. So this is Neon Alley, you guys. For anybody that hasn't seen this before, this is Hangman's Alley, which is right next to Diamond City. But instead of having it just be the basic little raider-infested spawn point that it starts as, I turned it into a little something different. So at a glance, when you walk by, you just see brick wall with a couple of turrets and a door, which is a little inconspicuous. But you're like, what's going on in here? And when you open up, you come on in. I've got my elevator to the left. Remember, as you leave, save your game. And as you walk in, you start seeing this neon city that I set up. And this is the original city that I dumped a bunch of time into with building. So you have shops to the left. You've got your Slocum's Joe here in front with the seats as well. Any of these power armors that you see, I ran here from their respective locations. So the Vim power armor I ran from Far Harbor as well as the other Vim that's up top. I believe that one's the refresh. I might be mistaken. Show breast for like and subscribe. Neon City. Upstairs, if you go up my elevator on this side, you can see that I've got a video game arcade set up. Let's call this down. Head on up to the second floor. And you can see I've got Atomic Command, Atomatron, Grognak, Pitfall, Red Menace, and Zeta Invaders. And these are all Pip-Boy games that you can play, but they were created into um, games within Creation Club that you can put down, arcade boxes. We've got Doc's Grow House where he's allegedly growing some foliage up there. We're very excited about him doing that. And as you head over here to the other side, this is the Ain't residential no area. You'll notice that my place is sort of taken over by the pack. Shout out to that settler. We're very sorry that she had to pass that way. But if you look over here, we've got Neon Farms. And this is where I've got my food and my water supply. And as you back out, we've got the crafting area here. This is where you can make anything. Weapon storage over there. We've got uh, some storage there. Over here, we've got the uh, X01 Power Armor series, a complete set, and another one that I'm working on. Have and a nuke, you, you know something? what I mean? And if you go up here, we've got a couple of games, Red Menace, Wakakami, you can get some tokens. Now, coming back over here, if we check the elevator, and we head up to the second floor, come on down, let's go. Oh, it's already here, sorry guys. All right, originally this was my bedroom when I was working on this establishment, but now it's more of a guest room. With some storage here to the side. It's got a little kitchen area with the refrigerator and the stove. And then we've got the bed, as well as a little bathroom with curtains there and a fireplace to keep you warm. And if you go up to the third floor, this is where I set up my own personal space to look out for the common So there's something I should be doing around here? Yeah, you should be balling out in the fallout. So I've got my little basketball court with my bobbleheads to the side. And as you go in here, I've got another room with some storage up top. We've got my couch. Let's go further through here. On the side, we've got the uh, residential area for the rest of the people you can come on in. We've got a gym that you can work out with. All these weights that I've brought here from various locations, including dumbbells, barbells, different things to build morale within the settlement. And then the rooms are this way. So we've got room 420. As you look in here, it's a nice little establishment. Somebody's living in there. They got a refrigerator, a sink. A radio that's cool room number 69 uh, another little setup very nice and room 187 we're all very mature with a nice little view looking out over the uh, rest of the, the setup here and then the bathroom the communal bathroom where people can come and take a bath and take a seat and get some cigarettes and have a good time and that's neon alley that's basically the gist of it we're just gonna close these doors go back out one time and look at the last little thing on the side which was a nice little shout out to S. Roy, the best boy, in honor of S. Roy. Let's go. There we go. Dude, 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 dude.